Yesterday I created something in Bitwig and this is this project here, as you can see on the screen. And I made some small changes, I think um, on the kick drum here, I actually um, used for the attack also a little bit of um, modulation to the kick so we have um, uh, to the attack so we have an attack phase a small kind of distortion and also in the sustain here and i think i made the bass uh, here a bit quieter it's not so prominent anymore and that's ba basically all uh, all the things i changed uh, after I recorded the video. So I'm saving this and I create a new uh, project now and for this video we create another loop, something different maybe. So um, in this project, we're gonna create something more like um, uh, maybe let's let's create drum bass first. I made so many pad patches and uh, or ambient tracks here on YouTube. Maybe make something more dance floor, uh, more more kind of drum bassy stuff. Um, yeah, let's search maybe for a drum loop. Uh, maybe something classical. Yeah, let's go, go with this. Go to 170 BPM again. Close this down. And switch to slice mode. loop it and I use the LU meter to bring it down to minus 23 that's okay and the first thing is I want to layer uh, my own drums beneath the loop So let's go with this here. Yeah. And I think I'm going to a C. Um, now let's go to A. A zero. Um, A1 A6 A5 Use an amp And also maybe use um, a sample, a kick drum sample. Maybe something like this. 
close it down and high pass. So we have again an e-kick, which is a synthesized kick drum. And in the FX chain, we're using a replacer. So every time the kick drum is playing, we have another uh, sample plate on top. And the sample has a high pass filter. So we have the sub from the e-kick and the texture from the sample. And after that, we have an EQ to pronounce some of the frequencies of the fundamental from the kick, which is A. And um, I'm using here A1 and A5. And I bring the volume down so, so I'm in the yellow range here. And maybe use um, some kind of a rim shot. Um, these drum loops are my own drum loops here, some of them. Let's uh, use my own rim shot, because why not? And let's cut out the low end from the drum loop. And search from hi-hat. something like this, more like a shaker type of sound. And um, Something like this.
Okay, let's group this together. I hope it sounds okay because I'm using headphones and uh, sometimes I'm not re really sure how it sounds on uh, real monitors, but um, it will be okay, I think. Okay, let's use the smart comp here again on the drum bus. Bring it down to minus 23 loss. And we are good with the, with the drums. And yeah, maybe just use phase four again. Make more kind of an longer Hoover like sound. So we have a monophonic synth. Yeah, and maybe add some piano. More like a liquid funk tune, maybe. Or maybe I add some pads. Let's see. So we are again in F minor, I think. So I'm using the pitch shifter, two hands up. can use the strum BST. Um, I hope that I have it. Yeah. So this plugin basically uh, delays each voice or each of these notes randomly. So it sounds more like a real piano player. So this is without plug-in and this is with, it's a MIDI plug-in.
that's too loud. completely wrong note. But that's okay. Okay, let's uh, duplicate this. Yeah, maybe um, I think the, um, the shakers here need more dynamics.
Mm, maybe we can switch this an octave uh, lower. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, let's join this and use it as a loop. Also this. Maybe use a bit of the screen delay. And we need this shifter again. Oh. Maybe use the same chain here. Just some keys uh, from the scale. So that's basically completely uh, diatonic. Every key is in the, in the scale of F uh, minor. And I just played some random notes from the scale.
Okay, maybe make some small breaks here at the end. Just some small stuff. Not working. Damn it, Bitwick. Oh, I have actually this in. Get it? Why? Why it's not? Why I can't? Um, okay. Hmm. Draw node velocities. It's not working. different sound for this break.
Okay, let's try again. No. Can't throw notes. sections there's a crash and maybe bounce this to audio reverse it. And maybe pitch it down. Stretch, pitch. Okay, um, let's, let's use the smart compressor here again. Go to base. Group these two tracks. Sidechain on. Get the information from the drums. Drums master. And turn the output a bit down. D plus B drum and bass. Smart comp on it. Let's cut the low end here from this pad because I used uh, the filter oscillation FM. You can see there are always a lot of low rumble here. Oh yeah, maybe modulate this so we have slightly uh, change in sound all the time. And maybe use the stereo spectrum more. Poly is on, Unipolar is on, okay. Group it 
that though. Smart comp on the master, drums on. And use the elements for no zone. Yeah, that would be my first draft. Maybe in the second half, yeah, we can remove the, uh, the piano because it's annoying uh, if you have it run all the time. Maybe just put a filter on it.
okay, let's um, split the base in half and using the key on the uh, EQ in the top band. 700 hertz. Empty wires to amplify. one of the blue devices, it's always nice. I think I need some percussion or something like this to actually speeden up the um, feeling of the groove. Um, uh, something like this. Let's try this. transient yeah that's okay uh, maybe bounce this don't need this group anymore. So we have a nice new sample.
I think we delete this. Um, so, okay, what we have now. We need at least a change in this section here and this uh, first section is okay. one right Try to modulate this. That's, that's a good idea. All I modulate basically is this offset of the frequency here uh, of the B operator, which is mixed into the first operator, and you can hear that they clash. And um, yeah, this gives these movements. down um, seven, seven tones.
save it. Clash. And um, yeah, I think that's it for this for this video um, for this draft. Um, I would in the future maybe add more small details uh, changes um, in the patterns here and there and to keep it interesting but you can see how easy it is to actually create something inside Bitwig with small modulations and uh, small changes and just stay in a scale uh, with the notes and yeah thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video bye